It has been incredible to see the sports world rally around Zach Wilson this week after his impressive performance against the Chiefs and the disparaging remarks from Rodney Harrison following the game. Zach has earned a lot of respect for the way he played, but also for the way he handled himself after the game. He had everyone coming to his defense from LeBron James to Matt Leinart and even Jake Paul after Rodney Harrison tried to bait Chris Jones into disrespecting Zach and called him garbage. Micah Parsons also delivered a great message about the situation, calling out Harrison for his comments and saying that he hopes Zach is successful. It's been pretty much the polar opposite of what he faced last week where everyone wanted him benched. And you gotta give Zach major props for the way he stayed composed under intense scrutiny and then went out and had the game of his life on the biggest stage. Sunday night's game was the most watched NFL game since the Super Bowl. There were 27 million people who tuned in and Zach balled out. Now the focus turns to Denver in a very important game if the Jets want to turn their season around. Both teams are 1-3 heading into the game and the Jets play the Eagles the following week so if they don't win there's a chance they go into the bye week sitting at 1-5 which would be very difficult if not impossible to come back from. It's a unique game too. It's a revenge game for Nathaniel Hackett who was head coach of the Broncos last year and for Brees Hall and Elijah Vera Tucker who both got injured against the Broncos last year. Vera Tucker has been solid all year and Brees Hall has had his moments but is still working his way back from his ACL tear. He's no longer on a pitch count according to Robert Sala. So I think this could be a breakout game for Brees. The Broncos defense has allowed 28 or more points in three of the four games this season, including 70 points to the Dolphins and 300 yards and four touchdowns to Justin Fields. So this is not exactly the best defense in the league. If Zach can build on Sunday's performance and they can get Brees cooking, they shouldn't have anything to worry about. Let Zach rip it and let Brees cook.